today I'm going to be doing the motherboard replacement on an Acer C733. So first thing you want to do is flip the unit over and take out the bottom cover screws. Now you can take the bottom cover off. So now what you want to do is disconnect the battery before you do anything else. We do this so that it doesn't cause any shortages to the motherboard or the LCD or anything else. Now you can unscrew all the screws that are holding in the motherboard, including this screw that is in the hinge because this hinge is holding the motherboard down. So now that all the screws are taken out, you can disconnect any ribbons or cables that are connected to the motherboard. So here I'm disconnecting the LCD cable, disconnecting the speakers, the keyboard ribbon, touchpad ribbon, this is the I.O. cable, these two are USB ribbons. And then you can disconnect the Wi-Fi card. To disconnect the Wi-Fi card, you might have to take out the screw that's holding the Wi-Fi card in. And now to get the motherboard out of the palm rest, you just wanna lift up on the palm rest to get this hinge to lift up. And then carefully take out the motherboard So now you can take your new motherboard and put it back into place, being careful with all the ports on the side. And now pushing this hinge back down to hold the motherboard in place. And you can put the motherboard screws back in, including the one in the hinge that's on top of the motherboard. And now you can reconnect all of the parts and cables and wires that's here. So you can reconnect the Wi-Fi card and put the screw back in that holds the Wi-Fi card down. Take your spudger and lift these two clips up so that you can reconnect the two USB ribbons.
reconnect the IO cable. the touchpad ribbon the keyboard ribbon can reconnect the speakers and the LCD cable and then the last thing you want to connect is the battery we connect the battery last so that it doesn't cause any shortages to the LCD or the motherboard And now you can put your bottom cover back on. And put the screws back into the bottom cover. To verify the repair, you can plug in your AC to the Chromebook, open the unit up, and hold in the power button. And if the Chromebook turns on, then that means the repair was successful. So you can shut the unit back down.